Hello everybody, I am back, and today, uh, that's the end of the video. This did take me very long to make, and I'm still making it, because I have a bunch more to do, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it should drop whenever I am recording this today. So, just before we get into that, I did promise that theory thing, so we're gonna get into that right now. So the first song that we're gonna be talking about is Wooly is Sam. So my theory is that um in the first game when we first see Wooly in um in the very well in the very first tape and even in the alpha he does warn us about uh what Amanda is uh and I say that because there are two different ones that we're going to be talking here. So we have Wooly, which I said Wooly is Sam. So we have Wooly and we have Sam. They're two different people, and um that's how it's just going to be. And Amanda is not Amanda. No, Amanda is Amanda, but Rebecca is Rebecca. So we're not going. So we're going to like separate those. And when I'm talking about Rebecca, I mean Rebecca. When I'm talking about Amanda, I mean Amanda. So first up, we first see him in the patients tape, or I did at least for my playthrough. But some people saw. Oh no, I think it was in the patients tape. Yeah. And the old Wooly, which, well, as we know, he always used to help us and lead us to clues, and he told us that it was his birthday, so he told us what card to get, and uh, he calmed down Amanda, so I think he was just there acting as, like, some sort of father figure, but only to help Amanda, but that was to calm her down, kind of. They never thought that they could really do anything like that. They never thought that we'd get the tapes in that first one. But obviously they know now since the house burnt down. But once we first see Wooly in this patient's tape, we see him complaining a lot. But that's the, but now we're going to do the separating thing. So in the old game, I think that's Sam. That is not Sam and Wooly, that's just Sam. That is just him, it's fully him in there. And now in the second game, it's Sam and Wooly. But I'm not sure if, they're, if that's exactly it because... I think it might be just a Wooly now, but he's definitely still in there, as we can kind of tell, but not really not yet, so we got to get some more information. Since Wooly's not really in this game, so, well, he's in, like, two, three tapes, but, like, still. And next up, I'm going to be talking oh, about the Possum, one. which is, like, the new guy who's helping us now. So, in the secret ending, Joanna, or the person with the mask, if you haven't seen the secret ending, it's, well, we, we literally just saw it, so go back and just watch it there. She states that her brother, named Jordan, which I think was the second one that went missing, uh, that's also my name, that's great, um, but yeah, that, he went missing, um, and we hear about this, but just before that, we hear the possum saying Joanna. Now, we know that there's souls in these things, and they can kind of talk through the items, but sometimes they can't, because we see the other souls inside those things with the eyes. So, we see, like, inanimate objects with eyes, but not all of them have them. So, they're, like, the different souls that they've taken throughout the years because Hamlin is apparently from the Middle Ages which again if you haven't watched that game theory on the first game he states that Hamlin actually dates back to when the Pied Piper was around I don't know the exact dates you had to go look at him but then uh, they know a lot more than me so but yes the Pied Piper was way back when in some in some story where he would lure kids which is exactly what they're doing, but here's the thing, uh, as the Pine Piper is doing now, they're still doing today, and they're actually all part of this cult or organization. Next, just before we get into some more stuff, um, we have the cult itself, so in that tape that we saw at the very beginning, I did play it at the very beginning with no audio, but um, we do hear someone saying that every child has a light, which is someone some cult member would be saying and then at that start we also see someone else saying close your eyes you'll only feel a pinch what does this mean how about um 
when you're doing some sort of ritual or when you're doing like um what's it called a surgery what they say they they put you under something it will only hurt a bit and they will run like tests on you sometimes if you're like uh, being tested on or being experimented on and then you will not feel a pinch and then we hear Amanda screaming with Wooly in the background luring her to get like tortured by this cult so I think what we were seeing there is actually possibly one of the first tapes and then we see that next tape is actually the broken tape that we have to repair ourselves throughout the episode and um, all that. I don't know exactly what I'm really saying. There's no really, not much to really back it up. But um, I'll leave the rest of it up to Game Theory, which they have someone new working there. So they can possibly figure it out, hopefully. Um, but another part that I want to talk about is the drawings on the wall in the story tape, which is actually a very big one. So I'll be talking about two things from that, but I'm going to talk about the drawings on the wall first. So... Yeah. You see those drawings in the back, not the wrong story, the right story. We're talking about the story on the wall yeah. of pictures. So we first see the knight and the princess. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh. Now there are three characters that you have to remember. The knight yeah. is Sam. The princess is Amanda. Right. Of course. So the knight Maybe. and the princess get separated in the next scene. We see them in um, the princess and the wizard, wizard okay. Hamlin. If we take the wizard and turn it into the cult, then we can see that. Um, but also the story says that the princess turned to Hamlin. To, oh, I'm figuring it out on the spot now. You see, Amanda was with her dad. Her dad okay. went missing. Sam went missing. Uh, Amanda possibly turned to them to get help yeah, or like do something right? else, but in return she would record the tapes. So we see her in the first game signing that document, possibly some sort of NDA as well, because she doesn't know what it is, she was only five, which we hear about in the tapes, and that was the same tape that they were looking at, which was 14 years later, so actually Amanda is 19 years old. But it's actually not Amanda because it's Rebecca and it's not that one. And then, um... So next up, I wanted to talk about the monsters, um, which we know there are now two in the secret ending. And we'll get to the second one uh, later. I'm going to talk about the first one. Hmm. So this uh, first one, we're going to be naming the different things. I think that the monsters are actually Amanda. So the one with the hair is obviously Amanda. And uh, this combination, well, that's a monster. And then that's and then we've got Rebecca. So Amanda and Rebecca put together is Amanda itself. But we don't know the monster's real name. Probably just some sort of experiment or something. But they were being experimented on these kids, and I'm not sure who it was. I was supposed to do research, but I didn't. My bad. I'll put it on screen. They said that they broke the mold with this one. Meaning that, I think it was actually in one of the secret tapes. It means that they found what they were looking for after experimenting on other kids. Now, we do see this by seeing the dead kids closed if we type east. No, west. If we type west in the treasure tape. And we dig something up and it's a child's clothes. But here's the thing that's very different in that tape as well. Wooly just smiles after. Uh, he's kind of disgusted about it. We can, we can see Sam in there. But Wooly is just smiling about it, digging it. Um, but Amanda is Rebecca and the monster fully or half. So when she actually gets mad, the monster is the person who's getting mad. And Rebecca is the one who's stopping the monster from getting to us. Since they're kind of a part of that. And you can actually see that it actually gets mad before it can actually kill us. Because Amanda or Rebecca stopped it. So maybe Hamlin is actually controlling it, but they can't control it fully yet. And whatever they're trying to do, we'll probably find out next. Now, last thing I wanted to talk about is Wooly. In the story time tape, if we type horror, a wolf shows up. 
meaning that the wolf is what he is now it's not sam this little sheep we know yes, now it's like a wolf that. and we see the monster so not have i uh, see i didn't think it was woolly at first same time. because he doesn't look like a sheep at all he actually looked so with the the long snout and um the different type of fur he actually looks like a wolf and if we listen to the when we give woolly the woolly toy to okay, the amanda monster then we hear a howl and he runs away into the room and gets out of the building. So maybe this one is going to be much stronger than the actual first monster and maybe he's superior. But we'll find that out next time in the bunker, which the bunker is either a place where uh, we saw on the tapes and it was Kate's little place where she would have these meetings, or it's going to be somewhere where Hamlin has been or Hamlin is down there, but um, we won't know for sure yet. So see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to get into the outro real quick. This took me a long time to make, 16 hours or 17. I don't know. I'm not really keeping that much count. See you guys next time. Subscribe, follow, anything. All the links are in the description. Click those. See you guys next time. I won't be their pawn anymore. I will do whatever I can to... Yep. What am I taking? Get out of here. Other tapes, right. I'm gonna take that one. Go! I'll be right behind you. I promise. Strange, because this one is an unwritten tape. What's going on? <laughs> hey. Hey. What's that? Oh, whoa. 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 That was something else.